Hi guys, it's Rach. For today's makeup tutorial, I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of an experiment. So I've got a whole heap of new makeup or products that I haven't had a chance to really play around with yet. And I thought I could just create a look popping them all on my face. So let's play. I'm going to start with a primer. This is the Sunday Riley Effortless Breathable Tinted Primer and I have the shade Light. This is one of these products that I really don't know what it is that I like about it, but I like it. I just, I find that because of the price, I'm almost expecting it to be miraculous and it's not, but it definitely has positive qualities and one day I will really try and determine what it is that makes it good, if that makes sense. I'm going to jump to eyes because I'm going to be working with some darker eyeshadows and I don't know what the fallout's going to be like. I'm going to start by priming with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. This is a little primer that came with the Lorac Pro and Pro 2 palette. I'm bringing this all the way up to the brow bone and running it under the eye as well. For eyeshadows, I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro 2 palette because I've gotten a ton of requests to do looks with these. I'll do some more pre-planned looks, but I thought today would be fun just to experiment with a few colors. I'm going to use this purple here, this plum on my lid, I think, but I'm going to put down a black base first. I'm going to run a black coal pencil along my lash line, really pushing it into my lashes and then bringing it up to create a thick line. And then I'm going to blend that out with a brush. I've watched so many YouTubers that I admire doing this technique and they seem to make it look so easy that you don't end up with like black pencil all over your face. So I'm trusting them <laughs> that I can do this. I'm using the Sigma Smudge E21 brush, quite small and precise just so this doesn't end up everywhere. Next, I want to work on my crease a little bit, give these darker eyeshadows something to blend into. So I'm going to take this shade here, light brown, just on a MAC 224 brush. Tapping off the excess and I'm just going to run this through my crease. I'm using really, really large kind of sweeping motions because I want this to blend out into pretty much nothing. I'm not a master blender by any means, it's something that I am working on myself, but I find that the best tip or trick I can give you is keep blending and when you think you should stop, just keep on going. Just keep going, do it a bit longer. Once that fades away into pretty much nothing, I'm going to take a slightly smaller but still fluffy blending brush, this is Sigma's E25, and I'm going to take the smallest amount of cool grey a tiny bit on the tip of the brush and again I'm going to run this through the crease just deepening it up slightly. This cool grey will help with the transition between the cooler tones of the purple and maybe the navy that I'll use on my lid and the warmer tone of that light brown. Now it's time for the fun purple colour. I'm so excited to use this. I'm going to take a flat shader brush and this plum shade here noticeably called plum for convenience. I'm just going to take a small amount of this on the brush. Again, I don't know what the fallout of these kind of colors is, but wow, that's pigmented. I'm going to start patting this on the lid. Just using the tip of that brush to sort of etch out the crease. And then going back in with that E25 brush that had the cool gray on it and just kind of softly blending those two together. Because today is about experimentation and because I want to have a little bit more fun, I'm going to take a little bit of this navy shade here, just on that sh same, shame, 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 just on that same flat shader brush, just a small amount. I'm just going to pop this in the outer corner, the lid. To add a little bit more dimension to the look and add a little bit of shimmer since all the colors that we've used so far have been matte, I'm going to take a smaller tapered crease brush. This one's from Hakuhodo and the chrome shade here, this really gorgeous shimmery taupe shade. I'm just going to really work this into the crease, keeping it quite defined. 
I don't know if the camera's picking this up, which is always like the bane of every YouTuber's existence is that it never quite shows up on camera the same as it does in real life, but this adds quite a nice bit of lightness to the look as well. I want to add a little bit of extra something to the inner corner. So another new product, this is my By Terry Ombre Black Star in uh, Misty Rock. It's a really pretty kind of shimmery purple shade. I'm going to pop a little bit of this on the back of my hand. So pretty. And then I'm going to pick that up with a pencil brush and just try and work a little bit of this in the inner corner. Now that we have that touch of sparkle, I'm going to take another clean blending brush and buff. I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight, but I'm also going to use it to sort of bring down that eyeshadow and just do any sort of last minute blending. Kind of running it along the inner part of my eye as well. I'm just going to clean up under my eye a bit. There wasn't surprisingly too much fallout. Okay, I'm going to take a push liner brush and a little bit of that cool grey and start just running this along the lower lash line. Also taking some of that plum and just kind of pushing it in on top of. Just mainly concentrating this on the outer corner. Then I'm just going to take a clean, small, fluffy brush and just really blend that out. Just popped a tiny little bit of that light brown to help with that blending. Now I've purposely left the inner part of the lower lash line bare. If you have light colored eyes then I just take that color all the way and you can get like a really smoky sultry eye but I find that my eyes and features are quite dark on their own so I want to add a little bit of lightness to this look. I'm gonna take this rose or rosé. It's a really pretty shimmery peach color. I've cleaned off that push liner brush and I'm just going to run this in that inner portion. Just patting it in and kind of just trying to blend it with that darker shade. Okay, you know the drill. It's time to curl our lashes and apply some mascara. Today I have a new mascara to try. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Make sure you really coat well all those lashes. So that gave me a decent amount of volume, a little bit of length. I did find that with the brush it was quite hard, particularly with my shape eyes, to get in really close without getting mascara all over my face. So um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this yet. I know a lot of people love it. Still kind of determining my opinions on this one. I think I'm so used to my Kevin Aquan brush because it's so small, it's so easy to apply that that seems monstrous. But I am going to pop on some false lashes. These are the Ardell Color Impact Enhance Your Eye Color Lashes. These are the Demi Wispies in Plum, which are supposed to enhance brown, hazel, and green eyes. But I'm just hoping that it helps bring out the purple on the lids. I'm quite digging this uh, purple lashes. You kind of don't notice them too much unless you're looking really, really closely. These do have an invisible band, but just to sort of make that blend better, I'm going to take that original E21 smudge brush and a little bit of my black uh, eyeliner pencil from Makeup Store. And I'm just going to sort of push this over the top of the lash band, kind of smudging it in just to camouflage it a bit better. So that's the completed eye look. Let's move on to face. I'm going to be using my Dior Air Flash Foundation. This is in the shade 200. I'm just spraying this and applying it through a brush. This is my Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. I quite like the finish this foundation gives to my skin. I don't know about the whole spray thing. I just can't bring myself to spray my face so that's a little bit of a faff for me. I just would rather I think apply with a brush. But it does give quite a nice finish and you can build it up but it still feels quite light and it seems to set 
quite quickly as well. To conceal a few of the spots and marks and just annoying imperfections on my face, I'm going to use my Vichy Derma Blend. This is in the shade 15 Opal. You really don't need much of this stuff. Just using my foundation brush to blend the color together. I'm also going to try mixing a little bit of an eye cream. This is my Balance Me Extra Wonder Eye Cream. I'm going to see how this goes popping a small amount of this mixed with the eye cream under my eye. Since this is experimentation day and all that. I do think that this is too heavy for under the eyes, but with some moisturizer and using a small amount, just using this to brighten this area and also clean out the outer edge, clean up, sorry, the outer edge of the eyeshadow. That didn't do too bad a job of lightening up under my eyes. I am going to take a bit of my MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. And I'm just going to use this to add a little bit of extra lightness to this area. Also pop some in the center of my face. I'm just going to use that same foundation brush from Zoeva to pat that in. Setting that in place with my Marc Jacobs Perfection Powder. I'm going to do my brows quickly today. I'm going to be using my Kevin Aquan Brow Pencil. guys will be happy to know that I managed to get my eyebrows waxed so they'll be a lot neater now. Just setting that in place with my Anastasia clear brow gel. I love this stuff it does such a good job of keeping your eyebrows in place. I'm going to be using my Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer on the Wayne Goss sort of limited edition Christmas brush that he brought out. I love this brush, it's just so soft and fluffy. I am using this more as a bronzer than as a contour because I just feel with my eyes looking so dark that I want to add a little bit of warmth to contrast with that. Just make me look a little bit more sun-kissed. For blush, keeping with that warm theme, I'm going to use a Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. This is Stereo Rose. Very, very pretty kind of peachy color with some gold veining through it. Again, instead of going for a cooler tone, I am going for a clashy warm tone just because I feel like I need it. And because this has that sheen through it, I don't really need a highlighter. Lastly, let's finish off with the lips. I have an Essence Lip Liner Pencil. This is in Satin Mauve. Again, this was a recommendation from you guys. It's a new one and I really, really like this. It is super creamy and it's this perfect kind of mauve pinky, natural color. I really, really like this color. I am going to kind of nude it out a little bit, maybe go a little bit ombre with this Wood Rose. This is a Luster Lipstick from MAC. So that, guys, is the finished look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. This would be a nice kind of going out, maybe clubbing makeup out with a night with the girls. I feel a little bit like Jacqueline Hill-esque inspired. I will never be as good as makeup as her. She is just perfection, but the look kind of has a, her kind of vibe, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me demo some of these products, ones that I haven't really used a lot in videos before. If you have any more questions about the products, definitely let me know in the comments below and I can talk to you more about them or maybe film a review. I like the foundation. I like the Vichy Derma Blend. I'm not super happy with this mascara at the moment. Honestly, I found that it flaked a little bit while I was like applying lashes and stuff like that. But I think I'll talk more about this in another video. Overall, I just, oh, I've got to say I love the Ombre Black Stars and I'm really enjoying the Lorac Pro 2 palette. If you'd like to see more looks using this one or the original Pro palette, let me know. But other than that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. And all that I can see 
Is my future in your hands? And all that I can feel Is how long ever I